What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Bink, aka Micah. And it's your girl Candace, aka Shook. And we are here today. <clears throat> Today's Again. topic is daily goals. And so, basically, you explain it to me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me see if I can go without saying so many likes. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm ready to count. <laughs> what we're going to be talking about is accomplishing small goals within one day. So, you can do this by writing them down. Yeah, by writing them down with a time next to the task so you're on a schedule because it helps a lot. I mean, I used to do this all the time, all the time, and it helped me to stay focused and to get things done in a timely manner because before you know, the day goes by like this, so you could look up and three hours pass and you've got nothing accomplished, so. And like today, we had everything accomplished and then we started lollygagging and we got a little late to record this video, but we still stuck to it. Right. So, you know, sometimes things happen, but as long as you can stick to that schedule, you'll be good. What we did recently was set the small goals, <clears throat> wrote them down or typed them up and printed it off. Because mm -hmm. if you do that also, it'll make it, you know, much more real to you. Right. As far as getting it done and it kind of boosts your... your your determination to actually want to knock everything out. Right. And so, often, and then, oh. okay. <laughs> yeah, well. Oftentimes, if you can get through that first day, it makes you motivated to go through the second day of what your schedule is like. Right. And you could even put, if you want, you can print out, say, either say you have Monday and you have the task for that day, just print out one sheet or write it down and check it like put a check next to it and then take it down and put Tuesday up and then Wednesday each day you can do it like that yes. or you can have a whole schedule Monday through Sunday of what you're going to be doing and yeah that could help too so yeah now <clears throat> some of the small goals that you can set as part of your daily goals can be like doing small you know workouts or exercises you know a lot yeah. of us want to Stay in shape or get in shape. You know, the summer's coming up. Spring break is pretty much came and passed yeah. or is about to pass. So everybody's in this, you know, spring bod, summer bod mode. Yep. You know, working off the winter. It's getting warmer outside. Want to show a little bit of skin, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know, start with the small goals. We thankfully work out at home or jog around our complex where we live at for our yeah. uh, workout about and exercises. Um, and, you know, we try to introduce and implement that those type of videos you know soon because uh, what I do and what she's been for the most part doing is uh, this 100 uh, calisthenics I think they're called uh, challenge where you do like 100 push-ups 100 sit-ups 100 uh, squats. squats and technically you're supposed to run six miles a day also um, I'm running I just ran two today and it almost killed me so <laughs> I'm gonna work my way there but of course you can do very different forms of push-ups, sit-ups, and squats, you know, to maximize your, your workout. So even if you don't really make that, of course, that's something that you just feel like you just want to straight do, you know, go ahead and do, but small. Right, so, yeah, so small, like, exercising, that's one. We have time for each task. Run, shower, eat dinner, and then if we're going to record a video, record after that, do our Bible reading and then get ready for bed because it mm -hmm. takes me about 30 minutes to get ready for bed because I gotta floss, brush my teeth, wash my face. So we wanna get that out of the way and have that done so we could be in bed in a timely Man, matter. Cause we've not been going to bed that as timely as we should be the last couple of weeks. So yeah. doing the schedule thing uh, definitely you know helps with prioritizing sleep and prioritizing getting things done in an orderly fashion so you can have success throughout each of your days. Right. So And you want to be realistic too with your goals because you don't want to put too much on the plate and then you can't eat it all, you know? 
<laughs> you like that? <laughs> you, okay. <laughs> don't try to overdo it, basically. And then you don't want to underdo it where you don't yeah. put enough on your plate, where you have so much free time. And you're like, oh, I could have did this, I could have did that. Where, okay, schedule that out. Schedule. And sometimes, hey, you might just have the free time. You right. know, but it's on, so nice. basically, if you can knock out, you know, whatever your work schedule is, work around that, of course. Um, so if you can do your exercises or jogging uh, as part of your time, uh, you know, schedule some sort of spirituality uh, as part of your time. Mm -hmm. Schedule your dinner. You know, it's a, a good way to schedule find a good time for you to eat on a consistent basis every night instead of, you know, always whimming it, you know. Right, you can... and not eating too late either. Mm hmm yep. So being able to schedule, what do we say? Exercise, Exercise spirituality. Spirituality. Your dinner, and then your sleep. Then... Sleep, because sleep <laughs> is very important. Yes, and when you schedule everything and put everything in, you know, in a good order, then you'll realize how much free time you do still have either in between each scheduled event or after everything's scheduled. And then it's just between your last event that you got, you know, that you conquered and then your sleep time. And, you know, right. it's all you always be able to find free time to do stuff. It's just being able to use some of that free time to, you know, for, for other things that will benefit you. Right. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to just because sit on sit on. Um, social media for two hours because you know, yeah, yeah. Cause, you know the internet you could get sucked in mm -hmm. very quickly and quickly. stay on it for hours so yeah, yeah. so you know and then you realize when you do the scheduling for your events that you have throughout your throughout each of your days you realize some things will become almost part of your free time because you enjoy doing yeah. it or enjoy doing it more and you're like oh man I could spend more time doing this and then before you know it you're building up goals that you can either uh, invest more into each day or every day or long term. Right. <clears throat> Which will be another video. Yes, long term goals. Goals. So. That's the end of this video. video. <laughs> Please hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Let us know that you appreciate these videos. That way we can continue to formulate and find videos to present to you guys. Yes. So comment down below as well. And share. Share. Hit that notification bell so YouTube will inform you as soon as possible when we release videos so you can get <laughs> to it. Be the first to watch and like and comment. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> and that will be the end of this video. So until the next one, Bink and Shug are signing out. <laughs> he always does that. <laughs> Wait, Wait for it?